Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show how to crochet a wavy pad using the wiggly crochet technique. You'll need some cotton yarn and a size F hook. I'd highly recommend accessing the chart for this on Nastasia.com. To begin, chain 44, skip the first seven chains, and make a double crochet in the eighth chain. Chain 2, skip 2 chains, and make a double crochet in the next chain. Chain 2, skip 2 chains, and make a double crochet in the next chain. We're basically making a mesh pattern. Chain 2, skip 2, and double crochet. At the end, you should have 13 spaces. Turn your work. And chain 3. This counts as the first double crochet. Chain 2. Double crochet on top of the double crochet. Chain 2. Double crochet. Continue this pattern across the row. At the end, chain 2. Skip the first two chains and make a double crochet in the third chain. We're going to continue repeating row 2. Chain 3 as your first double crochet. Chain 2. Double crochet. Continue this pattern for a total of 13 rows. You should have 13 spaces across and 13 spaces up and down. With a new color yarn, make a slip knot on your hook. Here's where the chart comes in handy to know where along the mesh we need to make stitches. I'm going to start in one of the corners, but it really doesn't matter where you start. Slip stitch to one of the bars. Chain 2, which counts as the first half double crochet. Make two more half double crochet stitches in this space. Let's work around this other bar. Make three half double crochet stitches around it which also ends up in the same space as before. Now we're going to move to this downwards bar. Make three half double crochet stitches around it. Next, we'll crochet across this bottom bar. and we'll crochet upwards along this bar. Now we'll crochet along this top bar. And you can see how we're following the chart with this. After you try this once or twice, you really won't need the chart. You can see how it forms almost a crochet ruffle effect along this mesh. And here is one side completed. The corners are sometimes a little tricky. So following along according to the chart, make three half double crochet along this bar. Because this is a corner, it's not a perfect square. It's almost kind of rounded, but we need to treat it like a square. So make three more half double crochet stitches along this side. And then three more half double crochet along the bottom bar like this. You can see what the completed corner looks like.
Now we'll crochet along this bottom bar here. Continue using this pattern around all four sides and all four corners, referring to the chart as needed. I've finished the outer edge at this time. Now it's time to move to the next round, which is the same on the sides, but slightly different in the four corners. Place a slip knot on your hook and slip stitch to any bar along the chart. It really doesn't matter which one you start. Start with the chain two and then two more half double crochet stitches. Then go along the bars, making the crochet wavy effect. This corner is a bit different, but if you take a look at the chart, it's really not that difficult. And continue with the crochet wave or the crochet ruffle around. One thing to realize, you do not need to use my exact pattern. Many people decades ago have done wiggly crochet in all sorts of random ways, so feel free to be creative with this. And that's how I crochet a wavy pad using the wiggle crochet technique. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.